Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. And it's been a couple of weeks since Thanksgiving, so let's have Thanksgiving dinner again. Let me show you how. Okay folks, I am doing my usual. Now I've done this before in videos, but you know, somebody pointed out the other day that not everyone watches all my old videos. So what I'm doing is I'm making casserole and I'm gonna make, put this aside because I gotta make one for Arthur. Steve, can I have the meat? You need a knife to cut up the turkey? Um, no, my hands are clean. Trick to the wise folks, when you're cooking turkey for a crowd, and they go on sale for 97 cents a pound or 59 cents a pound or whatever they do. Um, do yourself a favor. Don't buy one big turkey. Buy two little ones. Because you know what? They, uh, everybody gets a leg or a wing. There's enough for uh, dark meat for everybody. Like I've got a roasting pan full, folks. And what I'm doing here is I'm just building a casserole. And we're just missing one. Um, well, I'm going to put this in, one, in the little one, and then the corn in the big one. No, we're missing one container. Ah. Oh. Arthur and Mel's to take home. You just want meat and stuffing for sandwiches? Do whatever you want to. Put, put anything in that container. Yeah, what about the broccoli salad and anything stuff? Anything goes. Okay. All right, well, you pass me oh, the broccoli. Making you, yeah. You can put that in the oven, though. No, they're not. They're going to eat it. Just it's all like that. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. It's leftovers. Whatever. Don't worry fits. about it. Really, turkey is what I'm after because I'm going to cook other things with it. Oh, okay. So you just want the turkey and stuffing. Yeah, like it doesn't have to be. So I'm going to take now, folks. You don't have to do them exactly the same as, as everybody's talking about here. Look at this rebel. And so that everybody can see, BB. It did. It's on our holiday table every year. My friend BB made that for me. It's beautiful. I know. I just love it. Oh. And I'm going to take. What's that, darling? Oh, so that is beautiful. Yeah. And I'm going to take our candied yeah. carrots and oh. sweet potatoes. It's a wishbone. You got a wishbone? Yay! Yeah. Oh, so All right. I just want one, and I need a whisk, darling. <laughs> I think I know how to whisk. I just scored. Major. Now we take our leftover potatoes. Oh, that's what you do with the eggs. Yeah, because and I used to buy uh, loose Parmesan, and I would pay $14, and because it's in a bag, you use more. But I paid $25 for this, and this lasts us three to six months. So, solid Parmesan is the best cheese. Solid Parmesan is the best cheese. Can you manage that, Carla? I don't know. You might have to put a YouTube video on so I can know what to do. Oh, you smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> can I have the salt and pepper, Steve? Yes, yeah, if the stuff's so there to color, fun. honey, go ahead. Yeah, but we're going to be we're like, going to be playing a game at the table, so you might want to do it in the living room. For sure. Oh. Oh, you wanted it on the four point. turns of yeah. salt and six turns of pepper. Huh? And now, I'm just going to... Now, if I don't have enough, I can always make some more instant mashed potatoes and throw them on top, but I'm just going to put a thin layer. Oh, yeah. Okay, if you need the good one. Now, folks, this you, doesn't where do you put the parsley? Sorry, where do you put just the parsley on? on? Just on top. Oh, you know what? Oh, what? I forgot the gravy. Uh, remember when I zoomed in on that gravy? Remember that? No, I don't remember that because you're. Ca so guess what? And so we're just gonna do this and pour it all in there like that. Yes. Is the other gravy boat empty? No. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so. Okay, folks, so it doesn't look the greatest, but seriously, sometime in November, I'm going to pop one of these in the oven on a really cold day, and Papa's going to come home, and he's going to smell Thanksgiving all over again. And it's all in one plate. 
It's almost there. You have a little extra, we'll put it on there. When I go to reheat this, I'm just going to roll this up and tent it up and keep the sides down. And it, nothing sticks, but it keeps all the, stops it from drying out. And this just goes right into the freezer. For a mid-November meal that you weren't expecting to taste like Thanksgiving. Okay, so it's been a couple of weeks since Thanksgiving. And I'm working on the computer a lot today, so I went and looked in the freezer for supper. And I completely forgot about our turkey dinner. So guess what? Tonight we're having it. So all I'm going to do is unwrap the foil like I just did. And I'm just going to take the top like this, wind it up my hands in and tent it up and then just pull up the sides at the ends a little bit and we're going to cook this at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes we'll see you when this comes out of the oven okay let's check on dinner mmm smells good now watch your fingers for the steam folks oh look at that I'm just going to take the tin foil off now and I'm going to put this under the broiler to brown this up. Mm, just that little bit under the broiler for a couple of minutes. Let's dish up Daddy a plate. So what is this, do you think? Oh, food. <laughs> this is your second edition Thanksgiving dinner. Tastes as good as it did the day I ate it the first time. Awesome. Especially on a rainy day like today, eh? Yeah. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying that's how you get two turkey dinners out of one meal. Take care. God bless.